boy, am I tired right now. I have to tell you, this morning, I've just been so busy. It's around noon right now, and it's actually snowing. We've got snow flurries. I think we might, in our area, get up to three inches. I'll have to wait and see. So it's a very dreary, cloudy day, and it just started snowing a couple minutes ago. And like I said, I've been very busy today. As I said before, I was working in my laundry room, getting the cabinets painted. Today, all I had left to do was uh, polyurethane four of the cabinet doors on the uppers because I have everything else done as of yesterday. I just didn't have enough room to uh, be painting all the doors. So I had to do the last four separately. So this morning I got, I had to do two coats on each side of the doors. And in between, after I did one coat, I came here into the dining room, took a panel down and ironed it. And I will go back in and, and finish uh, the next side and just came back and did that. So I was really busy. I even still have a lot more to do today. I've got to get some laundry done too, because tomorrow I am hoping, maybe we'll see if I want to tackle it tomorrow. The countertop in the laundry room. Yeah, we'll see. I'm not sure. Because, you know, Sunday I am not going to be working on any project at all. If it is, it's going to be something fun. It's going to be a craft project because Sunday is my birthday. So I decided I am not going to be painting, doing any faux painting, nothing like that. Just something fun if I want to. So we're going to go out and eat. Uh, there's a really nice Mexican restaurant nearby that it's not like your typical uh, Mexican restaurant. You know, like when you go in, it's all colorful and everything. This is more industrial looking. It's got like... Uh, you can see all the, the ductwork up above, and it's got bricks, brick walls in it, and um, they do um, mesquite grilling. So it smells wonderful in there, and there are gorgeous views from there because it's up on a hill. So we're going to go there because that is one of my favorite places to go. Now, what am I going to do now? This table, yes. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm thinking. Oh my goodness, like I said, I still got so much to get done. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to show you some pieces, is I'm going to do green and white. You know, since I have all my white and silver, I don't know if I'm going to put any silver on the table, but it's definitely going to be white and green. Whoops, <laughs> I want to drop that. So I'm going to use these green chargers here. And of course I have my mom's plates, her ironstone. And these are uh, the white mist, uh, England ironstone. And I just remember these uh, from when I was little, that we always use these for like Thanksgiving or Christmas dinners is what we used them for. So they have been around a while, but I do love the style of them. So I'm actually going to be using the dinner plate and the salad plate, and they even have bowls. So I'm using the bowls too. Got my eye on that. All right, so let's go ahead. Before I put all the plates down and everything, I want to do a centerpiece over here. And I'm going to be using that white rooster that I have that I got from Fitz and Floyd. So, let's get going. The first thing I'm going to do is just use this tray of mine. And I'm going to set it in the center. I like how I can tell where the center is on this table. I'm going to set it in the center. Then I have this little thing here. Uh, you know, you just use it like this, but I actually use them as risers. And it's all going to get covered up, so you're not going to see the riser, but I want my rooster to be up higher. Then, I have to put him up here. I think I want to uh, face him this way. I think. Oops. I kind of like him to be a little more facing the front, because this direction is... Uh, towards the staircase, and I know you can't see him all the way, but we'll bring him all the way up here. There he is. So I'm actually gonna put the camera back down because I'm gonna be working around the bottom of the rooster. Very quick, easy centerpiece. This is just some greenery. I love this little greenery here that you get from Hobby Lobby. I am just gonna be placing, how many do I have? One, two, three. I have six of them, so I'm going to place six of them around here. Probably going to have to go on the other side of the table, maybe, let's see, there's that 
one. Two more. Let me grab them. Let's see. Let's put one here. This one over here. As you can see, the box is covered up, and this would be pretty just to do this, but I'm actually going to use some hydrangeas. I have my creamy colored ones and then my green ones. I happen to have three of each, and these were actually on a stem, but you can just pop them off. Huh? Much easier to work it that way. I'm just going to be sticking these in. Again, with the stick, you just alternate colors. Here. This looks really pretty. And go the other side. Put the other two on. You know what, this is it. This is all I'm going to do. I don't even think I'm going to put anything on each side of the rooster. I kind of like it like this. Okay, so come back over to this side. Things were a little messy there. All right, there we have how it looks. I think this looks really pretty, just like this. All right, so now I'm gonna start putting all of the dishes on here. Then I'm gonna add one little special green piece to each table setting. Well, the first thing I'm putting down is these green chargers. And they're actually wood, really lightweight wood. And I got these at Pier 1 many, many years ago. This is basically the only Pier 1 thing that I am gonna be using. The next thing will be the white dishes. Put on. And I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna set these down here. But there's a little bit of a pattern on here where they have these little dents. So I'm gonna line up all my dishes with this. Put them down and make sure all of them are facing Because I just have my white napkins here. And basically, what I did was I had to, uh, they had some, they were brand new. Actually, I've had them for a couple years from Pure One, but I never did open them up and use them. And so they had all the folds in them, so I washed them. Then they looked really crinkly. So, and this is another thing I ironed this morning. So basically, all I'm going to do is just fold these over kind of like where it would be halfway and fold it over again. And that is all I'm gonna do. Because I really didn't have any kind of uh, napkin rings that don't look springy. <laughs> or with the cabbage, you know, with some flowers or bunny rabbits. And I don't wanna do that just yet. We're just doing a simple classic. So I thought we'd just, I would just uh, put my napkins on like that. So let me go do that. All the rest of them here. Out. I think this looks really nice when you do this. Here. So I'm going to actually be dressing up the bowls instead. Uh, 
of the napkins this time. Two more to do. Again, like I said, I'm going to line them up. So these are all lined up together. And the bowls even have that detail in them, too. Everything's going to be lined up. See, but they do have the same detail. Just keeping everything lined up. Let me go get what I'm going to put inside the bowls here. So what I'm trying to do, and I was trying, to, I was playing with this one a little bit, but these pears are, uh, I got these at uh, Hobby Lobby because they had their faux fruit and vegetables half off. And you get a package of six. They don't want to stand sometimes the way you want them to. So I was having a hard time with this. So what I'm doing is I am putting in just this one little leaf of a, Oh, fern, fern, and then I'm trying to get the pear to stick in there. So I'm going to try to do another one over here. Let's see if I can get it to work. <laughs> try it right here. So what I was doing is I was just trying to, since this fern pieces are kind of coming in, twisting it a little bit. It's just hard to get the, actually, it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Get the pair to stand exactly the way you want it to. It just wants to fall on its side. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and continue and do all this, and then I'll actually have the silverware on here too, and then I'll uh, grab the glasses that I'm going to use. So I've got my silverware and all my glasses except for this one here. So I'm just using one of my tall glasses. This is when I really wish I still had all of those green crackle pure one wine glasses. But this will work. And you know, I thought I would add a little bit of fun into here with uh, these. These were actually my great aunts. It goes with my china set. I have a set of eight. And I'm going to set these around too. So I've placed all them around except for this one. I'm going to show it to you one more time. I I like it because it does have the green in it, and it does have some white. This, like I said, was my uh, great aunt's. There's a set of eight. Unfortunately, when I inherited it, uh, three of the teacups were broken. So I am missing three teacups, but I have everything else. It's a, a huge set. And I just think it kind of ties in with the green. I think that looks really pretty. Okay, so... I think that's all I'm going to do for the tablescape. I thought about putting something on each side of my centerpiece, but I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. So I'll take the camera off the tripod, we'll go around the table, and we'll see the whole room, because the whole room is done, except for, I was going to do that, my shoe bench put in here, which I have not pulled out to paint yet, so pretty much this room is done. So we're going to check it out. Okay, so how about we go to the table first? Check it out. I think this looks really pretty. Loving the pop of green. This can continue on to spring. 
with this and just by adding some pretty pinks in here it will look great okay I'm just gonna cut go this way there might be a little bit of shadow I have to have my light ring on because it like I said it is cloudy I'll show you here in a minute we'll go to uh, another window and we'll see a little bit of snow is happening right now and I did get my little cabinet done over here too. I'll have to bring the ring light over there and we'll check that out closer. I think this looks really pretty. And again, there's buffet. Since the window's here, we can see the buffet. Again. And I had somebody ask me about if I had any silver trays and this is the only one that I have. That's something I'm always on the lookout for. And I don't know if I ever mentioned before, this little silver pitcher here, this was actually um, a graduation present for me when I graduated from high school in 1984. It was from uh, one of my parents' friends. And guess what? I kept it, yeah. <laughs> Not that I was into decorating back when I was 18. And this piece right here, I had mentioned before, how that is a thrift store item that was not this color. And that video will be coming up pretty soon, showing how I transformed it, another piece, and a couple other thrift store items. And I will be, it's going to be a little bit dark over here, so we'll just kind of pan over to the hutch, and then I'll move the ring light over to here. One more look at the hutch, in case you missed my last video with the hutch. And I love soup trains. I'm on the lookout for small soup terrains like this. And I have one in my little cabinet over there. It doesn't, didn't come with a lid, so I'm always looking for small ones. Because I have this one here, and then this one up here that didn't come with a lid. It's, it's a little bit bigger than that one. And then I have another small one, which I'll show you here. You can kind of see everything really quick. All right. And I ended up putting just a few fern picks in here to add a touch of green. And I still need to put something on each side of the hutch. I'm thinking doing like some picture frames that I can paint to look like the hutch on each side. Then I can always hang little things in them. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Kinda like that one I showed that I got at the antique store. Let's just kind of look here, how everything looks. And I do like the pooling of the curtain panels here because I am just really lazy right now. I do not feel like hemming them. <laughs> I am not a good sewer. I'm just not really into sewing. Okay, so I'm gonna move the light ring and we're gonna go check out that little cabinet in the corner real quick. There, that is so much better having the light ring over here. It gets really dark in this corner and it being all cloudy out today doesn't help. This is that other little soup terrain that I just love and it doesn't have the lid. I'm looking for items like this. And this is everything that I've put in here. And down in this area, of course I'll have to move the curtain panels a little bit. I'm pretty sure I can get my little shoe bench to fit here. But I need to paint it, you know, just like the buffet looks. So that's another project. <laughs> Maybe in a week or two I'll get to that. Okay, so that is how everything is looking so far in the dining room. It is almost completely done. So it's lightly snowing right now. I just wanted to show this really quick. You can see things are starting to accumulate in some spots. I said maybe if they said one to three inches so we'll see it's still early <laughs> all right so let's head on back in and close out the video Burr, you know it is cold out there it is uh, 32 degrees right now with the snow it's probably going to drop even more since it's snowing now we're supposed to have a high of 40 but i don't think it's going to happen no i don't not with it being cloudy and snowing but it's okay i'm staying inside today 
I'm gonna get my um, cabinet doors hung in the laundry room and get the knobs back on. So that will be done tomorrow. I'm hoping to get the countertop started. I have to wait and see. Got to look at the instructions on that and make sure because I know there's a lot of drying time and if it takes more than two days to do, I'm not gonna be doing that since, like I said, Sunday's my birthday and I really don't want to do any projects like that on Sunday. Only if it's a fun craft item. <laughs> So upcoming videos, of course, will be that. So that might take a little while to do because I think when I watched the video on it, it said something about maybe five days you have to wait after you get the top coat on, the sealer, before you can put lightweight things on. And I think it said like two weeks before you put heavy things on. And so I think that's more for like your kitchen countertops because I'm not gonna have anything really heavy. So it might be a couple weeks before I get to show the laundry room because I like to have it all decorated too just do it all at once and then show how I did the countertops. So that might be in a couple of weeks. And uh, I am gonna be having a DIY video coming up soon with a Valentine's wreath. That will be coming up next week. So I'll have more details on that because I might be having two videos next week because I think I'm gonna show you that DIY of my thrift store items and then my wreath for sure. So, let's see, what else do I still need to do? There's so many things. I got lots of furniture. Oh, you know what? I forgot to show you this. Let me show you this really fast because this is something that I talked about a while back and I forgot to show it to you. So here it is. I brought it in the dining room to show you. This is what my kitchen table chairs used to look like. And this, I, I know I told the story where I found the four chairs at the thrift store and green was not half off. I had to wait like a couple of weeks. And here's the original price. I had them for $9.99 a piece. And I waited till it was green and they were all still four there. So I got this one. This one had the best look to it because you can see it's got some chips on it here and here. I don't know if I'm going to paint this or not. I am going to be painting the wood because this is what I did with my previous chairs kind of make it the same way and as you can see I might have to do something because see how this looks they were all beat up like this this was the best looking one I think this one has a little bit too I might try to do some touch-up painting see if I can kind of use my craft paint you can see they got some problems here but this is the original seats so underneath my French script that I put on there is this this is what it looks like now when I bought these this was perfectly fine because we were uh, doing more Tuscan. This is about 20 years ago when we bought our set. And uh, it looked great with everything. And then the first thing I did was I changed out the seat cover. Just put that French script over it. And I liked it that way. But then I wanted it to be white. So I just painted the wood white and the wood on the table. So I might distress this one. I don't know. I might just make it solid white instead of putting the antiquing on since it's going in the kitchen. And unfortunately, I don't have any more of that script uh, fabric, but I have this. So I don't know. What do you think? I do have this kind of fabric. And it's going to be in the desk area where you're not going to see it too much. So I think this might work. And this is more of a creamy color. It's not pure white, so I don't know. I might, uh, like I said, I might distress the wood just like my buffet over here and do the light antiquing on it to make it look like that and then I think that will look better with this so I don't know let me know what do you think do you think I should use this material or find something else I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna like but yeah I wanted to show that because this is another project that I'm getting ready to start on because I got some furniture I want to paint and I want to get this chair done Okay, now that is gonna do it for the video today. And I told you I'm gonna have a couple of DIY videos for next week. Should have those. I'm not sure when the first one's gonna be, but the other, uh, the wreath is gonna be on Friday for sure. Gonna have that one up. And be working on this chair, the laundry room, some other furniture that I wanna paint. And you know what I'm gonna do? You know the faux brick that I did over here on my staircase? I'm going to do that in my in my breakfast nook. I'm changing it out. Yes, it's going to be a much bigger job to tackle, but that is what I'm going to do. So, 
I want to wish everybody a very wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye for now.